Hey guys, welcome back to another recap. This time around it's going to be Xbox and we're gonna take a look at their biggest announcements and uh, reveals for E3 2019. Let's take a look. All right, so let's start it off with the next gen consoles. Similar to what Sony has revealed about the PS5, Microsoft gave us a few details about the next gen console, codenamed Project Scarlet. The console will use a solid state drive which will drastically cut down on annoying loading times and improve overall game performance. AMD will be providing the chipset for the console which will be 4 times more powerful than the Xbox One. It will use high bandwidth GDDR6 RAM and has the capability of playing games at 8K resolution and 120 FPS. The release of the console is set for holiday 2020. Project xCloud, the cloud-based streaming service, is coming to current consoles this October. That's it. That's all Microsoft confirmed. I'm sure we'll get some more information as we get closer to October. The highly anticipated game from The Witcher developer made an appearance in the form of a new trailer. Keanu Reeves, who plays a character in the game, walked out on stage afterwards to a hyped up audience and announced the game's release date, April 16th, 2020. In a surprising announcement, developers of Psychonauts, Double Fine Productions, have been acquired by Microsoft and are now part of the Xbox Game Studios. Studio head Tim Schafer took the stage and showed us a new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Now I'm not sure if I'm understanding this correctly, but it appears Xbox will have a remote play feature similar to what the PS4 currently has to offer. Your Xbox will essentially become your own personal and free xCloud server, allowing you to stream games from your console to other devices. The feature will debut alongside Project xCloud this October. Gears 5 is coming out September 10th this year, but you can play it 4 days early if you get the special edition or are subscribed to the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Before that though, there will be a multiplayer tech test in July, and it will feature a new game type called Arcade. Afterwards, at Gamescom in August, they will show the new Horde mode. Finally, a new Elite controller is on the way. Re-engineered from the inside out, Microsoft adds many new features and improvements to its top-of-the-line controller. This time around, the controller features adjustable tension for thumbsticks, updated trigger grips, redesigned bumpers, shorter hair locks, USB-C and Bluetooth support, and wrap-around rubberized grips. Instead of AA batteries, the controller now uses an internal rechargeable battery that promises up to 40 hours of usage per charge. A detachable charging dock is also included. You can pre-order one right now for $180 and it will be in your hands by November 4th. Game of Thrones author George R.R. Martin and Dark Souls developer From Software have teamed up to create a brand new IP in Elden Ring. Not much is known about the game yet except that it will be an open world dark fantasy action RPG. The game will feature responsive melee based combat and will have a wide variety of weapons, magic, and ways to engage enemies. Master Chief is back. We didn't get as much information as we thought we'd get, but we did get a new trailer for the game. This time around the game will have a major focus on the Master Chief. Set on a Halo ring, we will continue the storyline from the previous Halo. Infinite will be running a brand new engine called Slip Space. The game will be a launch title for the next gen Xbox console being released in 2020. Remember that rumored Dragon Ball RPG game from a few months ago? Well this appears to be it. Relive the story of Goku and Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Beyond the epic battles, experience life in the Dragon Ball Z world as you fight, fish, eat, and train with Goku. Explore the new areas and adventures as you advance through the story and form powerful bonds with other heroes from the Dragon Ball Z universe. The RPG from Obsidian is set for an October 25th release. The game is set in a future where mega corporations have begun colonizing and terraforming alien planets. Originally bound for the furthest reaches of the galaxy, a colony ship's faster than light travel goes astray, leaving it abandoned at the edge of colony space. The player character awakens on board from cryosleep, only to find that most of the passengers are still in hibernation, and begins a journey to a nearby colony to investigate the true nature of the corporations. 
The game features several factions and a branching story that reacts to the player's choices. Probably the most unique game announced at the Xbox briefing, Ninja Theory's game Bleeding Edge is a multiplayer melee brawler with very unique and awesome looking characters. You are given an archetype, assassin, support, or tank. Each has a basic melee and range attacks and abilities and super moves on cooldowns. It definitely has an Overwatch vibe, but without guns and much more chaotic. Other games that were announced include Ori and the Will of the Wisp, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Minecraft Dungeons, Battletoads, Tales of Arise, Fantasy Star Online 2, and Blair Witch, among others. Okay, so that was it for Xbox this year at E3. They have a lot of exciting games coming up. I uh, can't wait to get my hands on. So stay tuned for next week. We're going to have the Nintendo uh, E3 recap. See you guys in the next video.